Reddit by Reddit recap. What are some things that guys misinterpret from women as she's interested in me? I tried to pay for my coffee he worked at the coffee stand. IDK it was weird. Apparently being polite whilst ordering my beverage meant it was a green light to try and ask for my number and then lean over the bloody counter and kiss me on the cheek as I was about to walk away. I was 19 at the time and had no clue what was happening. What the f? Who tries to just kiss someone? New roommate when we were in college. The apartment housed 5 people. And this guy was new after someone dropped out and moved away. We were all hanging out one night. And talked with him a bit. Joked a bit. Nothing sy or flirty at all. Later one of the others told me. That he'd asked her to tell me he wasn't into me. So I shouldn't get my hopes up. He had claimed I was obviously flirting. I never wanted him. Nor liked him much as a person. Being employed in a bar and serving him. Dude. I'm required to be polite. You are older than my dad and I can smell you from here. I do not have a thing for you. I've had a male friend claim that the bartender was into him because she smiled and was being nice to him. I was there. I told him that's her fine job. If you think that's bad. I knew a dude from India who said all us girls loved him. His reason why. He visited the US and went to a strip club and several of the strippers offered to let him pay them for private dances. In his words this was proof they clearly wanted me. My dude. That's literally what they are paid to do. They were literally asking you to pay them for the dance. Just like they normally do. That's their job. A classmate, G, in college and I met up to peer review for our senior semester three or four times. Years later, I ran into a mutual friend, K, and she said she was so glad that G and I dated or else we, K and I, never would have been friends. I was like, dated? And she was like, yeah I remember G always talking about how you guys were dating in the last semester. Okay. Oh yeah this happened to me as well. I was a shy 19 year old freshman in college when an older student starts chatting with me while I'm having lunch. I'm confused and let him talk because I'm young and naive. He starts asking all kinds of questions and if I go to clubs I say no I'm new and not 21. Then he says well we could go somewhere where it's all ages. Again confused I say no I'm okay but thanks. For the next month or so he happens to bump into me on my way to classes or while I'm trying to study. I switch my studying time and location but still randomly bumped into him. One day he tries to hold my hand but I give him an awkward high five and then after a classmate commented on how sweet my boyfriend is for walking me to all my classes. I realized what was happening or what he was doing. Next time I saw him I mentioned I was getting back together with my ex and that ended that fake relationship. Never was bothered by him again. It seems like many men misinterpret enthusiasm for a topic with enthusiasm for him. Just because I'm really passionate about something doesn't mean I want to get it on with the person I'm talking with about that thing. Dear God. This. My husband's friend and I liked a few of the same show's hobbies. So we'd chat about them when he visited. He told my father-in-law I oblivolsi wanted him. Welp. You're not coming over ever again. Going on compulsory business trips. Had a guy tell me I was ruining his marriage because his wife found out his co-worker on a project that required business travel was a woman and she assumed he was cheating with me. I just ignored it because this guy is a real oversharer and I don't actually care about his marriage. He started acting really weird after that. Like my lack of reaction to his wife's concern meant I was interested somehow. Had to go 100% cold shoulder on the guy to send the message that I was not interested. This story is so bizarre when I tell people it. I feel like they don't actually believe me but here goes. When I was Sikh tail waitressing in college. A group of middle-aged men came in. They were seated in a section that wasn't busy and they were pretty much the only table. Another waitress passed them on to me because she was leaving because her section was dead. I greeted the guys. They were on their third bottle Grey Goose. Being loud and having a good time. I was chit-chatting with them when they started to compliment me. They thought I was flirting with them and started getting suggestive and I just kept being polite and trying to get to my other tables. 
so I thanked them and started to leave. But the guy put a $100 bill on my tray for me if I showed him my bra. I said absolutely not. Then he kept putting more and more hundreds on the tray while his friends were laughing and demanding more for the money until the amount was up to $1000. He said you can walk away with this money if you go to the other side of the bar and lift your shirt to show your bra and cover your face. I was so angry. I told them off. Threw the money on the table and told them I was going to get the manager and they were cut off. Then the other man next to the one who tried to give the money then chided me saying that I was young and flirty. And how I was turning down a big opportunity to be this man's friend and that it could lead to more money and I'd be taken care of. And it was so insulting and rude of me to tell him no and what a lost opportunity. I told him he was rude. I was there paying my way through college. I didn't want their money or to be someone's mistress and that I was no longer going to serve them. I told my manager and she just laughed and called them jerks. That's it. All because I was trying to do my job. I apparently came off across as wanting to be a middle aged man's mistress. I was so angry. I left soon after. Women service sector workers being friendly to them in the course of doing their jobs. I have a young male co-worker whose rapport with customers really impresses me. He remembers hundred different people's names. Can talk to them about anything. Instantly make them feel welcome. I've told him many times this is one of his strengths. One night. I decide to try and incorporate a bit of his techniques and the first guy I do it to instantly thinks I'm coming on to him. Then gets mad when I won't give up my number. Now I'm back to being a robot. I just want it to be good. I've been told that I have a happy face and smile a lot. A lot of guys seem to interpret this as a come on. I'm not sure why people are nice to each other all the time without necessarily wanting to f. If I'm really flirting with someone. They know. I grew up in New York City. Women I didn't know never smiled at me when I was walking around on street. I moved to a small town was struck by all these women suddenly smiling at me constantly and I immediately reflexively interpreted it as flirting, though I didn't do anything about it. Just smiled, nicely back. As I was still kinda perplexed. After a week or whatever I realized, I think anyway, that the women in the small town just felt safe enough to smile and be nice. While the women in New York were scared of initiating contact. I have to tell you. A place where people feel safe enough to smile is a much nicer place to live. This is a little different but, one time. My roommate had her military guy friends over. I model but I'm awkward and I'm kind of a hermit but I went out to try and get some human interaction. I'm sitting on the couch and the one guy who has just introduced himself puts his hand on my thigh kind of grazing it within 2 minutes of talking. I asked him to stop and he said why. I'm just being friendly. So I said you can be friendly without rubbing my leg thanks. I was pretty turned off even talking to this person at this point so I was a little cold and ended up going back to my room to do my art haha. I notice it's a little quieter out there so I go to the kitchen to get a snack but I hear the military guys outside and the one guy who was rubbing my leg was talking that jade, me, girl was talking me up. Trying you know. She's hot but she ain't, he yelled this. That girl is a straight up B I just don't know where this dude thought I was interested in the first place. And I almost felt smug he was so upset I turned him down he had to lie about it and yell lol. I remember reading a post on reddit a long while ago about some guy who was having problems booking and plane ticket and use the website's chat feature to try to solve the issue. He became convinced that the woman answering his messages was flirting with him because she used a smiley face emoji and didn't exit the conversation once the issue was resolved. Having worked in places like that, we were told not to be the one to exit the conversation first in case the customer has an additional query that they forgot to mention. This guy missed her and wondered if she was thinking about him too. The answer is, she absolutely is not. Treating them like a person. I've had multiple guys I didn't even want to look at think I was into them because I smile and laugh a lot naturally and they all assume I do it for them. If he is really interested in me, then almost anything I do can be misinterpreted. Laughing when they say something funny. 
Being physically close even if it's because we're in a small space with lots of other people and it can't be avoided. Smiling. Just like I do to other people. Just generally being a friendly person. It's just treating them like I treat other guys I'm friends with. But those guys won't take these things as signs I'm interested in them because they aren't hoping for signs that I'm interested. Accidentally making eye contact on the train. This happened to me. I was standing on the train staring in front of me zoning out as you do. This guy who was in my line of vision thought I must be staring at him. So he came and stood right in front of me and asked if it was okay for him to stand there. Then proceeded to hit on me and boost himself up as to why I should talk to him. I just turned up my music and ignored him. After a few stops of doing this, he got the hint. Also a creepier thing happened on the train while I was traveling with my son. This guy sitting in front of me was smiling at my kid and trying to talk to him. Then he whipped out his phone started taking pics. As soon as I picked up my phone to take a pic of him he ran out the train. People are fine creeps. Best comment of the day. I was hired as a temp worker at an apartment complex. My first day, I met the leasing manager, who was very very beautiful and very very charming. Couple of days later she came with me, when I was policing the grounds, which was most unusual. While we toured the property, she told me, that she was being stalked by her ex, who had done many violent, and frightening things to her, since they split up. She knew I was a marine and more than capable of handling the guy, and I told her not to worry, that if he showed up, I'd make quick work of him, if he acted inappropriately, he'd done this several times in the recent past, and she was genuinely frightened. Couple of hours later, she came into the shop, where I was gathering materials I needed to perform repairs and more or less pinned me in a corner, where I couldn't escape. She was exuding an extraordinarily sexual vibe, and it was clear that she wanted me to respond in kind by kissing her, or making some sort of move. Trust me, there was no question of this, but we'd only known each other for a few days, and I didn't want to jeopardize my chances of obtaining a permanent position with the company, and so I resisted the urge to take her into my arms. It was an extremely tense moment, and I really wanted to get with her, but as difficult as it was, and it was nearly impossible, the air was charged with sexual energy, and she had me pinned, and was mere inches away, absolutely no question of her desire, I chose to try to extricate myself as gracefully as possible without seeming like a jerk or an idiot, I figured there'd be plenty of time for that down the road, well, I guess I made her feel bad because she called me into the office at the end of the day, and angrily told me, that my services were no longer required. When I asked her why, she told her assistant to call the police. I mean, WTF. Guess I should've kissed her, damn it. Total bummer, but in hindsight, I probably dodged a bullet. Still. Bye.